Mike Murdoch. I looked at a girl on the right side of the building at the Wisdom Center and uh, she was cheerful. I like that. She came about, about a year and I kept looking. I may should take her out and see what she's like. Then I want to see if she had a good figure, you know. She did. <laughs> she did. Men are really turned on by what we see. I have a little wisdom kid in my book here. 140 wisdom quotations out of book 314. By the way, you sure need to go to my website. In my opinion... In about three months, it's going to be the best website you've ever been to in your life. I've got over 400 of my books put there. Mike Murdoch Books dot com. Mike Murdoch Books dot com. I have books as low as two bucks a piece. Anyway, she was cheerful, so I asked her if she would follow me to the. I said, let's go get us a little. We call it just a cup of coffee. Bridge words, you know, to bridge a relationship. And she started talking. And she was a good talker. Cheerful, joyful, full of God, and had some sexy. Had some sexy in her. I like that. I could have never... I don't think I could ever adjust to the other kind of life. I think I was, I'm a man. She talked 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour. And nothing she said was boring. But after about an hour and a half or two hours, I, I realized she didn't have any interest in me. <laughs> She didn't want to know how long I've been in the ministry. She didn't want to know what, who my favorite novelist was, which was Sidney Sheldon, one of them. She didn't ask about a single one of the 92 countries I'd touched all over the world. She didn't want to know my thoughts about when I visited in Russia, what, what was India like. She didn't care. Nothing really wrong with that, except I was hoping she wanted to know something about me. She didn't. How did the Queen of Sheba's name get in the Bible? How did the name, the Queen of Sheba, get included in the Bible with the wisest human who ever lived, Solomon. She was interested enough to ask questions. What can I say? Is it normal for a woman to ask questions of a man she just met? And the 600 and something ladies that I dated over these 42 years, no. No, women don't ask questions. They, but it's a key. It's a key. I got another story to tell you about. Don't forget this. Book 3, 14, 817 area, 759 book. 140 questions, uh, quotation, excuse me. I think it's worth it. I want to come back and tell you about a girl who married a famous, famous athlete after she and I had the one date. It's worth hearing if you're a single woman.